Hello guys, what is going on guys? This is Cowboys Pride guys and today I'm going to give you my top three reasons on why the Dallas Cowboys have a legitimate chance of making the Super Bowl this year, man. I know we say this every single year, but I think, well personally, I don't say that every year, okay? I don't say, oh, we're gonna win the Super Bowl this year, but actually for the very first time and me being a Dallas Cowboys fan my whole life, this is the first time I'm gonna say this that the Dallas Cowboys actually have a chance to make it to the promised land, man. The super freaking bull, man. Reason number one on why the Cowboys have a legitimate chance of making the Super Bowl is the defense. The defense. As we all know, man, last year the defense balled out almost the entire year, man. They shot down the number one offense in the Saints, man. Only holding Drew Brees to only a touchdown and a field goal. The Cowboys came up clutch in the end with Jordan Lewis picking off Drew Brees late in the fourth quarter to seal the Cowboys' victory at home to give us a four-game winning streak. We were ranked one of the top five youngest teams in the NFL by, I think, NFL.com. I'm not really sure. But we are very young, which means that we have, still have a lot to learn. But this defense is ready, man. This defense is ready to take it up to the next level to be... Arguably the best defense we've ever seen uh, ever since 2003 back in you know back way back in the day when I was only three years old We are arguably have the top two linebackers in the league man We were getting our asses roasted man They're saying that oh why did you get a linebacker? You should have gotten a wide receiver you guys are gonna suck it, We risked it for the biscuit man. We got Leighton Van Der Esch a good ass linebacker man we got we risked it even more with Jalen Smith who was injured in college in the last year in college and Jerry Jones was like Steven and Jerry and Steven Jones gave him a chance and look at what it paid off man he is now arguably a top five linebacker in the league in the NFL man it's crazy how they, Steven and Jerry Jones dived in and risked it all for Jalen Smith and those two linebackers man and now we have a solid, we have a, we don't have to worry about the linebacker position anymore. Uh, we don't have to worry about the secondary, although it could improve, but I believe it's good enough to win us a championship, man. Byron Jones just had his first Pro Bowl last year. He formerly played safety, he didn't do that well, so they moved him to corner. I mean, look what happens, man. Pro Bowl year for Byron Jones. My number two reason on why the Cowboys have a legitimate chance of making the Super Bowl is the wide receiver depth, man. And for the past like four or five years, man, we've been having mediocre wide receiver depth for for a while. We only had a Des Bryant for the past five, six years, man. That was it. There was no other wide receiver that was worth mentioning, okay? Yeah, we had Jason Wooden, but I'm talking mainly about the wide receiver position, okay? I'm not talking about tight end. I'm talking mainly talking about wide receivers. We mostly had Terrence Williams uh, for the past four or five years, Cole Beasley, uh, Bryce Butler, uh, all those mediocre guys. And yeah, they were good at times, but most of the career, arguably, in my opinion, they were just mediocre, okay? Um, it wasn't enough weapons for Tony Romo to work with for him to bring him to the promised land. He did have Des Bryant, as we all know, in 2014, where they both and plus DeMarco Murray dominated the entire season, but he needed more weapons, man. He needed another number two wide receiver. He just couldn't have it, man. Yeah, he had Cole Beasley. Yeah, he had Terrence Williams, but there just weren't enough. There weren't enough to get them to the promise, to get them to the next level of offense. And now, finally, 2019, this offseason, they let go of Terrence Williams and Cole Beasley. I'm like, yes, still great offseason moves by the Cowboys, man. Props to Steven and Jerry Jones, man, to making these make this statement for the wide receivers, man. They let go of Terrence Williams and Cole Beasley. Now, we have an excellent slot wide receiver in Randall Cobb. We have a true number one elite wide receiver in Amari Cooper, man. And also not forget, uprising superstar in Michael Gallup. Due to Dez Prescott inaccuracies at times, man, he couldn't connect with Michael Gallup more, but you can see flashes of Gallup's deep ball threat. I'm excited to see him next season, man. I, this season, I hope Dak Prescott improved on his deep ball accuracy. Excuse me, accuracy, man. That's how we got shut down by the Colts. If you guys didn't know, they played man to man almost every single defensive play. They know that Dak Prescott accuracy is 
not that great. So that's why they played man to man every play, almost every play. And they shut down the Cowboys offense completely. They knew how to stop Zeke and they knew that Prescott's weakness and they sh completely shut down the Cowboys offense. But that's a whole different conversation. Let me go back to Dak. No, hopefully Dak improves on his accuracy, man. If he is able to do that, man, this offense will be unstoppable, man. They won't be able to stop. The, the defense, NFL defenses are going to be like, all right, who are we going to stop? They have Zeke, Superstar and Zeke, Superstar and Amari, Superstar and Michael Gallup, Superstar and Randall Cobb. It's going to be too much. And then we're going to have Jason Witten back on the lineup, who's a complete security blanket for Dak Prescott, man. A top 10, arguably top 5 offense in the NFL if Dak Prescott can improve on accuracy, man. If he can, if he can connect with those deep ball accuracy, man. It is game over for opposing NFL defenses, man. And even if they have good coverage, Prescott can run the football. He's a mobile quarterback, man. That's almost all he did in college was run the football. It's excellent. This offense can be a top five offense easily, man. It's just that Prescott's accuracy has to improve, man. It has to improve. Anyways, moving on for my last reason on why the Cowboys have a legitimate chance at a Super Bowl is the new system in the offense okay look this is Kellen Moore's first time being an offensive coordinator so that means NFL defenses have no clue what to expect they have no absolutely another clue on what the Cowboys offense is going to run okay so expect the Cowboys for the first few weeks to be on offense to be dominant if it's unique you know, this is Kellen Moore's first time ever coaching an offense, so it's going to be really exciting to watch. If, it, if it's just plain and simple and easy to read, man, later on in the NFL season, NFL defenses are going to know what to expect, and hopefully Kellen Moore's offense is uh, out of the blue. Hopefully it's nothing similar to Scott Linehan's offense, man, because that was just pure, dry, plain, very predictable, man. It was crazy. It was really, really annoying seeing every goddamn third down play. Let's say it's a third down and 20. Run a like a five yard pass play or, or a run. I'm like, are you serious right now? But hopefully, Kellen Moore's offense is unique enough for NFL defenses to say, what? We are shooketh, you know? We, we don't know what to expect next. Also, an honorable mention, man, for a reason is the O line is healthy again. Back to 2016, the O-line was fully healthy, and now we are back with fully healthy, man. Zeke can probably, Zeke has the potential to run over 1,500 yards or even more, man. Even more than that. Dak has no excuses, okay? Dak Prescott has no excuses, guys. If guys already know, I've seen in the news recently on Instagram or the NFL or wherever. Dak wants his money. Dak wants to get paid 30 plus million a year. Watch this video, Dakota. Please, you have no more excuses, bro. Literally nothing, okay? If the only excuse you can have is, is if you get injured, okay? That is it. You have a great elite running back, an elite O-line, an elite wide receiver core. You have everything in your power to succeed in the NFL now. There's no more excuse. If you if you downgrade your stats from last season or if you don't even improve a tiny bit, I'm sorry, but your time in Dallas has to come to an end soon, okay? I'm sorry, but if he does not improve a slightly bit from last year or even rookie year, man, Dakota isn't the answer in Dallas, okay? He's, he, he will not be the answer because he has no more excuses, excuses for this year. Anyways guys, hopefully you guys all agree with my opinions and my reasons on why the Cowboys have a legitimate chance. Maybe you guys have uh, Maybe you guys have reasons on why the Cowboys will not make the Super Bowl guys. If you do drop in the comments down below guys This has been Cowboys pride um, I'm about to hit 13k on Instagram guys. Even you guys are following me on there uh, I'm trying to post daily here on YouTube. It's kind of tough because you know, it's I gotta upload on Instagram and YouTube So I upload daily on Instagram. I might miss a day or two by literally almost post daily over there guys If you want to follow me on there if you are not anyways again again guys it has been Cowboys pride on Instagram Take care. I'm out of breath. I've been recording for a while. Anyways, take care man. Take care guys. Peace